Uh, thank you. Uh, we are here of uh, Haji Nasa Ntege Sebagara. This is uh, where he was born. And uh, uh, as Ugandans may know that uh, Haji Nasa Ntege Sebagara has passed on at the International Hospital in Kampala. Uh, I'm standing with Honorable uh, Sebuliba Mutumba Mudwa Ulira, who was a member of parliament for Kawempe South, and is also contesting for the same position. Honorable Sevuliba Mutumba Mudwa Ulira was one of the people who can say that he was nurtured into politics by this uh, gentleman, uh, Haji Nasa Antege Sebagara. Honorable uh, Sevuliba Mutumba Mudwa Ulira, Haji Nasa Antege Sebagara has passed on. What do you know about this man? First of all, he was a businessman, he was a family man, but he culminated up being a politician. And he's one of those few people who trained us, who coached us, who mentored us, and guided us in the way to run and maneuver about politics. In fact, the moment we came in contact with him, he had good advice towards us, especially in training us in the tactics of winning most of the posts in Kampala. Therefore, his passing on has left a very big gap in the politics of this country, in the business fraternity, and of course, through the experience he has been gathering a lot, we are left with some kind of a vacuum, political vacuum, and even that experience vacuum. We are going to really miss him. Seba Gala was astute, was courageous, and that's why we called him a bulldozer. That was his name. With the business fraternity, they, they, they coined another saying that is a, is a share, meaning that at least whenever he got something, he could invite others to come and join in, and even shows you the way on how to make and meet money. And that's why, in fact, he even had a, a Forex Bureau, the Texas Forex Bureau in Kampala. He was one of those young entrepreneurs. He was an innovator, very smart, very astute, very articulate, very courageous, all in one person. Most of the people couldn't believe us when we said we are going to bring him as a, a, a Lord Mayor, as a Mayor of Kampala. When, when, when he was campaigning uh, mm. to become the Mayor of Kampala, mm. he told the people, especially the, the, the Wanainchi, mm. telling them that when he's elected the Mayor, mm. everybody will be going back with the Kavera. Mm. What was he meaning by this? He wanted at least every person to benefit from the leader. He or she elects. That was the belief. But of course, there are certain shortcomings which you anticipate in your planning and budget. Not everybody, of course, came back with a cavera. It's like a taxi. It may transport you, drop you somewhere when your homestead is just nearby. And another person, when he's left with about one kilometer away. But the good thing, he has been transported. So it was like a public transport kind of vehicle transporting you and then you reach your destination, whether it is within a meter or more than a meter or even a kilometer. So with the Cavera model, with the Ca Cavera model, he wanted everybody to be well off, at least well off, from whichever leader he or she elected. So therefore that was the Cavera. I know some people have got some misgivings about that, that not everybody really benefited. But of course you cannot satisfy each and every individual. He tried his level best. And very many people, by the way, the many people he touched, passed through and became elected in those posts which they were aspiring for, which they had declared their intentions to contest for. The young ladies came on, the men, young men came on, and even Sebuliba Mutumba, I'm one of those people whom he made to succeed and come into public life. Uh, thank you, Honorable uh, Sebuliba Mutumba Mudo Aulira, uh, one of the contestants for Kawempe South uh, Member Parliament. He has been speaking about the life of uh, Haji Nasa Antege Sebagala, and this is his um, ancestral home, where he's expected to be buried. Back to you, Sandra.